Hello and welcome to Oweleke TV News. I am Anthonia Nwokolo. The news headlines. Lawmaker seeks 30 billion naira in damages from speaker and media outlets. NANS urges university teachers and government to reconsider their stance. On the foreign scene, Biden and Trump spar over immigration policies. And in sports, Nigeria's flamingos drawn in Group A with hosts for under-17 Women's World Cup. Welcome back. Now the news in details. President Bola Tinubu is expected to arrive at Katsina State today to kick off a two-day security talk between the United Nations Development Program and the Northwest Governors Forum. The president is also expected to deliver a keynote address at the Northwest Peace and Security Summit in collaboration with the United Nations Development Program, tagged Regional Cooperation for Securing Lives and Livelihoods in Northwest Nigeria. The security talk shop is to bring together stakeholders and security experts, including governors of the Northwest and key partners in security matters to prefer solutions to persistent security challenges facing the region. A statement by the Chief Press Secretary to the Kastana State Governor Mohamed Kala hinted that the President will also inaugurate the ultra-modern 16-bed dialysis center at the General Amadi Rimi Specialist Hospital, Batagarawa. The representative of Esa North East 1 in Edo State House of Assembly, Ade Isibo, who was on May 6th suspended indefinitely, has taken the Speaker, Blessing Agwebaku, and seven media houses to the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory sitting in Abuja for libel at broadcasting or publishing false and libelous statements. He is demanding 30 billion naira in damages. Isibo, a member of the All Progressives Congress, was suspended indefinitely with two of the 24 lawmakers, Donald Kogbe of the People's Democratic Party, Akoko Edo II, and Bright Yamo of PDP, over Juju scare at the assembly complex and alleged plot to impeach the speaker and other principal officers. Agwebaku of the PDP on June 19 at a media poly as part of activities to mark the first year in office of the 8th assembly commented on the indefinite suspension of the three lawmakers. A federal high court sitting in Lagos has granted Union Bank interim judgments restraining Swift Networks Limited and its agent from assessing funds and assets in banks pending determination of a motion on no in an alleged debt recovery suit. Justice Yelin Bogoro issued the order on June 19 following a June 11 ex parte application filed and argued by Benga Akinde, counsel for the plaintiff and applicant Union Bank. The parties have been locked in the alleged debt dispute for a while and it's Union Bank's case that parties entered into agreement which was put in writing and signed by parties to amicably resolve the matter. Let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. Follow us on our social media handles at Obeleke TV. Visit our website at www.obeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Obeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. The National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, has appealed to the federal government and academic staff union of university to find common grounds to prevent disruption in the academic calendar. Senate President Henry Okonomo made the appeal in Akure Ondo State during a news conference, as who had issued a three-week ultimatum to the federal government over some outstanding demands. According to Okonomo, the association is appealing to the federal government to take immediate and decisive actions to prevent a disruption in the educational sector. He also urged President Bola Tinubu to allocate sufficient resources to the educational sector to improve infrastructure, provide necessary teaching aids and ensure timely payment of salaries and benefits to lecturers. Ahead of the forthcoming Congresses of the Opposition People's Democratic Party in Ekiti State, some leaders of the party have vowed to resist attempts by the former Governor Ayodele to hijack the party's structures. Speaking at the party's stakeholders and leaders meeting held in Adoikiti, former PDP Chairman Boyega, Boyega Ogunsase insisted that the party would never again allow the former governor to hijack the party and trade it for its self aggrandizement. Plans are afoot by the National Working Committee of the Ruling All Progressives Congress to constitute the National Governorship Campaign Council for Edo and Ondo State's governorship elections slated for September and November. The Independent National Electoral Commission fixed the off-seats 
Sindh governorship elections in Edo for September 21st, while that of Ondo will hold on November 16th. Checks by the nation at the organization directorate of the party in Abuja showed that barring any fundamental change, NWC is to release and inaugurate Edo State National Governorship Election Campaign Council early next month. A fake soldier, Abdulaziz Abdulwasu, has been arrested for dressing in his friend's complete army camouflage uniform in Lagos State. On Friday, Abdulwasu was riding an unregistered motorcycle to a destination in the state when he sighted the policemen attached to a Limba Aousa division who were on surveillance patrol on Jinado Street in the Ajangwadi area of the state. Upon sighting the policemen, Abdulwasu abandoned his motorcycle and took to his heels, but the policemen who observed his suspicious movement gave him a hot chase and a arrested him. A source who does not want to be mentioned in over fear of victimization said during interrogation Abdul Wasu confessed that the uniform belongs to his friend who is a soldier serving in Borno State. Up next are stories on the foreign scene after the break. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Oleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. On the foreign scene, U.S. President Joe Biden heads into a crucial debate with rival Donald Trump this week, armed with new immigration and border policies that his backers hope will boost his standing among skeptical voters. Biden announced two major policy moves in June that seek to address migration challenges and woo the electorate, an Aslan ban to court illegal crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border and a sweeping legalization for long-term residents married to U.S. citizens. In entertainment, Nigerian singer Ayo Balogun, also known as Whiskey, has sparked controversy with a recent cryptic message ahead of his colleague Davido's wedding to his wife, Choma Ruland. Davido and his hot robe have been the internet sensations for the past few days, with events leading to their wedding on June 25. Whiskey caused commotion with prayers amid Davido's wedding buzz. On Sunday evening, Davido broke the internet with pre wedding pictures of himself with Choma on social media. Amid the pre wedding photo buzz, Whiskey tweeted laugh out loud, which ignited massive backlash online. On Monday morning, the Oju Elegba hitmaker remarked about understanding women and said a prayer for them. Whiskey's recent statement attracted conflicting comments, with many implying that he disparaged Davido's soon to be wife, Joma. And in sport, Nigeria's women on the 17 national team, the Flamingos, have been drawn into Group A for the 2024 FIFA on the 17th Women's World Cup. The draw took place in Santo Domingo, Dominica Republic on Sunday. The Flamingos will face the host nation, Dominica Republic, Ecuador and New Zealand in Group A. This will mark the third time in recent that a Nigerian team will be grouped with the hosts for the Falcons group with Australia at the 2023 Women's World Cup and the Super Eagles alongside Ivory Coast at the 2020. African Cup of Nations. The Flamingos will kick off their campaign against New Zealand on Wednesday, October 16th, followed by a match against Ecuador on Saturday, October 19th, and will conclude the group stage with a game against the Dominican Republic on Tuesday, October 22nd. And just before we go, here's a recap of the headlines. Lawmaker seeks 30 billion naira in damages from speaker and media outlets. NANS urges university teachers and government to reconsider their stance. On the foreign scene, Biden and Trump spar over immigration policies. And in sports, Nigeria's Flamingos drawn in Group A with hosts for under-17 Women's World Cup. And that's the package on our news bulletin. Kindly follow us on all our social media platforms at Owilekia TV. Visit our website at www.owilekia.tv. I am Antonia Wokolo. Many thanks for watching.